Hello and welcome back. Well, it's uh, a week after, uh, I'm recording this actually, a week after Torfest, uh, and I just want to say some big thank yous. Uh, what a massive success. I'm not sure you've seen quite a few videos from Torfest already. Uh, Bob and Shell's done a couple. Andrew and Karen have done one from Andrew and Karen's Adventures. Um, the Karen and Adis have also done one. Um, so you've probably seen a lot of footage and I didn't want to repeat that. So I will put some footage and some pictures in at the end that I took while I was there. But first of all, some thanks. Uh, big thank you, first of all, to um, the site, Donkey Creek, who were brilliant over that those few days in helping us out and, and uh, organ helping us to organise it, really. Um, and to the Caramanadis, Deb and Tony, to be fair, they did most of the planning. Um, and they, uh, you know, they, they, over the last, well, actually a year, we've been talking about it and doing lots of planning on that. So a big thank you to them. Thanks to Mandy and Lee from Tessie's Travels. I'll put a link to their YouTube up here. Uh, Mandy for singing uh, on that Saturday night, which, which was great. And it got everybody together and everybody singing as well. Even Bob Earnshaw was singing. Uh, and Lee for setting up all the PA system. A few other people I want to say thanks to. Uh, when we got there, we had these marquees that we had to set up and straight away Ian uh, came over and uh, Andy Geno uh, came over and helped us out and Mark and Callum from Pilkey's Caravan Adventures came and helped us. They've been great all over that weekend. Uh, so, you know, a big thank you to them and especially for Ian and Andy for helping me tidy up at the end of the night uh, and Angela as well helping me tidy up and Colette. Uh, you know, we were the last ones standing and Rob and Claire, they they were so, oh, Rob was the last one standing a few nights and Claire was as well, so thanks again for helping us out with that. Over the three days, uh, we obviously it was a get together and we got to meet lots of people, lots of subscribers, so a big thank you to all you guys for coming. Uh, we really do appreciate that and it was great to meet some of the subscribers, it was great to have a chat with everybody and, it, and I did say to quite a few people, um, when you go on a campsite sometimes, nobody talks, but everybody was talking, everybody was helping out, uh, and, and it was great to hear some stories and, uh, and you know, talk to lots of subscribers. And um, just, just generally, the feel on the site was absolutely fantastic. It was like a, a you know, it was a real good community feel, and, and uh, I think, I, I think I hope, hopefully you guys felt like it, who attended. It was, a, it was a really great event. One of the main reasons for the tour fest was to raise some money for, uh, Prostate Cancer UK and the British Heart Foundation. And we ran, managed to, well, you guys managed to raise who came, um, you know, £2,160. And, and that was absolutely fantastic. We, we, that was way beyond my expectations. Um, you know, I, I had no idea we were going to raise that much. So a massive thank you to everybody that, that gave. Uh, and donated uh, the guys on the seasonal pitches as well they they you know they give a lot i'm not going to say all the companies that that give us all the prizes for the charity raffle uh, but um yeah i'll just put a quick picture up of all those companies and there was a few people on the seasonal side i can't remember the names it's I'll, you know but thank you anyway for donating prizes uh, you know that that was absolutely fantastic and and uh, somebody won a massive telly the guy who gave the telly i think he was called paul but thank you very much i really do appreciate that it was a really successful event and we really did enjoy it and like i said it was great to meet everybody so what i'll do now is i'll just put some uh footage and some pictures in of uh things i captured over the three days right we're more or less set up at uh Fest. that noise you can hear is playing there's a plane, big plane ticking off of the, the airfield at the back here. Just needs a bit of tidying up. Got two gazebos at here on our pitch. And then we're putting the, uh, Tony's at the moment, putting the uh, marquees up on there. I'm going to go and give him a lift doing that. Might catch his plane taking off. But yeah, um, that'll do for our side now. Let's go on, have a look on the field. <laughs> Right, so we've got Tony on bits and bobs, Mark from Caravan Pilkies, Pilkies Caravan doing bits, Callum doing bits, Ian doing bits. We've got one roof up and then we're going to get the second roof up and then I don't know what's going to happen then, but we're doing well. <laughs> so day two of 
Torfest Northwest last night we had a get together and had some teas and biscuits and beers and everything like that the weather was absolutely atrocious unfortunately uh, so today we have a bit of sun uh, so things are hopefully going to be a bit better tonight so we've got live music from Mandy from Tess's Travels she's going to be doing a bit of singing uh, we're going to set up over there we've got the raffle and um, bits of lots of prizes to do and there's a quiz so got a bit of, a bit of sunshine tonight hopefully it'll be a lot better than the days before um, lots of people are filming well there's a few people filming things that are happening at this whole fest so I'm trying to do a little bit but we've been busy with other things I've not been able to do any filming but hopefully tonight we'll capture some of that and uh, we'll see how we get on it's all right with me. That's it, Torfest Northwest 2022 done. Will there be another one? Thanks for watching, you take care. We'll see you soon, bye bye.